what's going on guys it's gbp baby welcome back to another video i hope everybody's doing well and let's get straight into things so hopefully you've watched yesterday's video and monday's video as well and you can see that wednesday has had quite a nice expansion to the upside running towards our weekly buy side liquidity target now in yesterday's video i did state that i was ideally looking for that um monday low to get targeted again and potentially trade through that tuesday low however you can see that's not the case as we've expended higher and started to work towards our buy side liquidity target now with this in mind we do have a rejection block level up here which i am going to draw out because price may want to trade into that moving into thursday so in terms of high impact news we do have cpi today on thir moving into thursday and then on friday we have ppi as well so for the rest of the week i'm expecting quite a lot of volatility and i still wouldn't be i wouldn't be surprised or shocked if price did trade into this rejection block and then we did find price reverse on the back of it so what am I expecting? Well, moving into Thursday, again, I'm looking for this rejection block level to get traded to. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark out the range of this rejection block, because to be honest, I'm surprised I haven't brought our attention to it already, but um, I am looking at the 50% level of it, because it should act pretty much as a bearish fair value gap, as far as I'm concerned. And then it'll be nice to see how price acts once it gets into there. Now, how do I know this is a rejection block? I know this is a rejection block because you can see how price acted once we traded into it. If you look at this this wick from Friday, 16th of August, look how we traded into it and look at the rejection we got away from it. Meaning that when price returns back to it, we should anticipate a similar reaction. And don't get me wrong, I do expect us to run for the weekly buy side liquidity. I just doubt it's going to do it this week, especially with how many up close days we've had. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, pretty much eight consecutive up close days so we need to be really cautious and weary of that and take that into account and that's why i'm looking at these pre close closer pdras as to where price may want to reverse and give us that down close day that we're probably going to get soon but nonetheless let's go to the four hour and you can see our price um traded on higher with quite a lot of regression and like i said I'd, I'd like to think that price can tap into here and then i don't want to see a full-on you know displacement to the downside and then maybe moving into friday and thursday this south side liquidity may then get targeted so yeah, yesterday's video, I did want to see price trade down below this low, this Monday low specifically. But again, the fact that we haven't traded to it yet and price has been rallying and it's been a pretty clean week in general, it's looking all a bit too clean for me, which is why I'm expecting CPI and PPI to give us that, you know, that messiness that we're waiting for. So still got my eyes on that Tuesday low and Monday low. And I would like to think that I could use that as a target. Now, it's not a matter of price having to get up into this rejection block level. This is just a PDRA from the daily. As, as you can see on the four hour, we do obviously have a, a bearish order block right here that we haven't actually traded into yet. So that's still significant. And again, depending on the price time of day, price may tap into it and then we reject away from it. So we need to take all of these into account. Now, personally, I don't trade um, CPI or recommend trading CPI, but it's looking to me like price is running out of fuel. And like I said, it's going to tap into either the rejection block level or the fev or the um, bearish order block and then i want to see us run back on the whole week's range so if you can see monday tuesday wednesday we've pretty much well tuesday and wednesday mainly we've traded on higher there's gonna be a lot of sell stops below there and i do believe price is going to want to target that for the rest of the week so that's pretty much my expectations moving into the rest of the week um yeah nothing too crazy but um that tuesday low and that monday low i do have my eyes set on nonetheless so I hope that all makes sense. Let's take a look at GBP USD. We will jump onto the daily and what you'll find is that GBP is showing a little bit more strength than dollar. So again, if I mean, that, you know, a little bit more strength considering dollars moved higher, um, pounds failed to move lower. So we're seeing more strength in pound, which is nice to see. And it's and it lines up nicely with our expectation. Again, if you watch yesterday's video, I've seen that Tuesday high and Monday high get targeted. So obviously we had a down close day on the Wednesday, running out south side liquidity from Monday, which is completely fine. So we grabbed stops, but obviously if we're expecting some kind of reversal on dollar, we want to see, okay, can pound trade on higher? So let me just get rid of a few things. To be honest, these targets down here, as much as I do want to see price trade down into them, I don't think price is going to be doing it for now. Um, just because I think it'll be too smooth and too easy to continue expecting downwards price action on pound like this. So let's just clear the charts completely on pound. And another thing to take note of is the fact that we're trading into a daily bullish order block right now, right here. We've just traded into that. So it should, if it should hold price, presumably, and also we should be looking at that 50% level, which is what we call mean threshold to, you know, the fact that price has traded into it and come off of it. We don't really want to see us close below that for us to potentially have a nice pullback on price. But nonetheless, um, in terms of targeting, again, we've got uh, 
these daily highs now where there's going to be lots of buy side liquidity residing for price to work its way up towards so let's go to the four hour now i'm not calling bottoms here i, I hate well it, and i basically am but again i just think if 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 GBP was going to drop any lower more aggressively it would have done it already and the way it's holding this kind of resistance it's saying to me it's probably going to you know whip back on itself and again run out all these stops look at all these highs you know and then we have a nice bullish order block on the four hour right here and this might act similarly to that um bearish order block we're seeing on dollar right here that i've got my eyes set on so we need to allow for price to drop down into these levels um any lower than that and i obviously will then start thinking about these lows but ideally we do see price turn and we can start to think about this this week's daily highs as targets to run on so we'll go to the one hour and you can see very high resistance very high resistance and although we had this beautiful displacement for non-farm payroll last week to the downside the fact that we've met with them now the fact that we've now met with all this resistance is saying to me price doesn't necessarily want to flow down there as quickly or as easily right now so like i said we need to allow for that we will drop down to the 15 minute take a closer look although there's not really much to go off here but we just need to take into account that this is a four hour bullish order block so price can always dip down into that but again if we see dollar respecting these premium pdras and you know it might be a matter of us having a really big down day and us just running back on all these stops because this is some crazy expansion we're seeing and um don't get me wrong it can still rally where can it rally to where i've marked out any higher than that it's going to go crazy but um I do believe this is the I believe that this move right here is the manipulation, but we'll obviously have to wait and see. So we're going to finish up on euro now. Euro is behaving a little bit better in, in line with dollar um, in terms of running out sell stops in line with dollar taking out buy stops. So in terms of it pulling back on itself again, we have a nice rejection block level right here, very clean. Why is this clean? Because we didn't even we just opened and dropped. So this is a very strong rejection block level. So if price manages to return to that, that would be quite interesting. And then you can see we're trading again in a in a level in a bullish order block, and we're just at that fifty percent level. So we just take all of that into account. Let's go to the four hour. Yeah, not the cleanest of price action, but it's not it's not a surprise to me that we are finding high resistance because you can see all this consolidation. Price struggles. If price was going to trade lower than through it, like run to this south side liquidity, it shouldn't be struggling through consolidation through that. It should be abs It should be. It should just be wiping it out. But you can see price is struggling to do that. So. When you're identifying things like this it's literally just looking at its behavior it's acting up right now because it can't get through there which is why again it's adding to my idea and my bias of wanting to see that potential pullback so um yeah cpi will be interesting um again i don't recommend trading it especially not in these conditions but um nonetheless i do still have my eyes set on the daily highs that have been created this week so i've got my eyes set on wednesday's highs right here which is also a rejection plot level and then Monday's highs up here. Um, it'll be interesting to see how price acts once we get into there. So that's going to be everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to drop a like, drop a comment, smash subscribe, join the mailing list. Uh, and yeah, it should be quite an interesting day tomorrow. Uh, CPI is at... What time is CPI? CPI is at... I think it's 1.30. Yeah, should be 1.30. Sorry, 8.30. 1.30 in the UK, so classic 8.30 um, time release I'm, expect I'm anticipating, so um, around 7am is when I'd be looking for setups, if I was to be trading that, but um, that's what I mean, That's th those are the times I'll be looking for confirmation on dollar to see, okay, how's it acting once it hits our bearish order block, or if it's rallying even heavier during London, how's it acting once we're reaching into this rejection block level, but like I said, I do think this is the Judas swing of the week by the looks of things especially the way it's, the way it's left that low just hanging there and remember I wanted to see us trade to this level if you've been watching this week's video I've been videos I've been wanting to see us trade to this level we haven't done it and I just find it awfully suspicious so yeah that's gonna be everything guys don't forget to drop a like drop a comment smash subscribe join the mailing list blah 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 and I'll catch you in the next one peace